I have been posting some of the child molester um, recording on my uh, social media tape. And I want to explain to you why I did it. In 2005, my father, Mike Jackson, was acquitted from child molester trial. And I was... I was back in, in in his life and I was getting the information about my father, about what, what was going on in trial. And then I felt so sorry for my father that I spoke to the Michael Jackson team because in 2002, my father was busy um, putting the media on me because he wanted to share he, he he's a father and he's a grandfather. So, and then um, it was Michael Jackson team, Michael Jackson people doing this. I have already put that videos on um, on my social media on uh, cele Celebrity Justice with uh, Brian Oxman, who was paid to help my father um, get into the news, the woman claim in the Netherlands to be um, his uh, daughter. I was being told in every word on the video what I had to say. And I was very young at this time, but my lawyer was next to me and I just had to follow the rules, what they want. Many things that I said was cut out the interview. So it was made very sensational. Oh my God, oh, J Mike Jackson's scared or one claimed to be. Michael was planning to, um, that way to introduce me as his daughter in the world. So this was before um, the child molester case was beginning so and then the interview with Martin Bashir came and my father's people called me told me that lawsuit was going to come so they prepared me with uh, the child molester case before it came into the news they prepared me what going what was going to happen and then uh, I said to my father's team will it help if we just come out now and tell the world that my father cannot be a pedophile because he's my father and I'm, I'm his daughter and it is uh, him being blackmailed by the mafia. So, and then the security team of my father and legal team of my father said, no, we uh, that will not help. We need to keep you f safe. So in the moment that the court of my father was proceeding, I was receiving my father's uh, my father's bodyguards. They were coming to protect me and my son. So a lot of strange things were happening in my life. I was really, really scared, really scared. So uh, people know where I live. So I really wanted to get out. And uh, I had some really bad neighbors who were doing drugs. Were in the so they were they were really on me. They were they were. It, it was really 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 scary uh, situation. So I just so my my father's people said, okay, go. You can go out and uh, you can move. So. I was never alone in, in the moment with all the changes that I made in in my life. So um, the child molester case came and um, my father didn't want to share me anymore with the world. Uh, and I was seeing how he was being abused and being hurt. And after the child molester case, my father decided that he doesn't didn't want to share with the world anymore that he lost his daughter, me, um, and child traffic by the Catholic uh, Church. So my father didn't want to talk about it anymore. So my father was under attack when I, when I was kidnapped. He was under attack. And I, I have ideas why my father was under attack. I'm, I will never share that with the world. But this just, just to show you that there was no opportunity for my father anymore to share me with the world before the child molester case. After the child molester case, he, he didn't want because the media treated him so bad. Just like the way the media is treating me so bad, nobody wrote about that I wrote my autobiography, to let betrayal, to let the dark side and all that, so that people could understand my story. You know, the media uh, put me on Google like crazy woman, thinking Michael Jackson's daughter. So the media also know that I'm not going to do any big television show. I'm not going to show my face on stupid program. They have destroyed that after when how they tried to kill my father in the media. I will not do it.